It's well known that Australia is home to some weird and dangerous spiders. But here in Aotearoa, we have our own unique arachnid army. Unlike some of their Australian counterparts, they're not famous for their poison. In fact, some aren't even famous at all. Some we haven't even discovered yet. And that's what fascinates entomology collection manager, Phil Servid. I think most people have no idea just how many species of spider we have. We've got more than 1,100 named species so far, and according to some estimates, it could be as high as two and a half to three and a half thousand. And those are still to be found? Absolutely. And if you compare it to a place like the UK, which is a similar landmass, they've only got about 700 or so species there. Very few of them are unique to that country. Our 1,100 so far is pretty impressive. It's, you know, sort of more than 50% than they've got. And also, about 95% of our species are absolutely unique to this country as kiwi and kakapo. Where could we find spiders? Pretty much everywhere, particularly in native bush, but I've even found a new species on my doorstep when I was living in Karori. When it comes to true blue kiwi spiders, this is not one of them. <laughs> Thank goodness. A good example of a family of New Zealand spiders is a group called the Cynotaxids. And these small spiders play a big part in Phil's research. There are 70 species of Cynotaxid known worldwide, uh, but 50 of them are found in New Zealand and, and they're all unique to New Zealand. Imagine something like a small daddy long leg spider. In other words, a sort of fairly smallish body, great long legs. They're not related to daddy long leg spiders. They just have that superficial resemblance to them. And uh, some of these, some of the male uh, Cyanotaxis looks pretty weird. But the female up here, she looks like sort of pretty much any other spider, really. How can you identify them as being Cyanotaxid spiders? We have to look at them under the microscope and we have to look at things like the reproductive organs. That's the common way to tell uh, different species of spider apart. Um, male and female reproductive organs are often very distinct for each separate species, so that's how we separate them. How do they reproduce? Uh, very carefully as they're predators. In a nutshell, um, the male spider has to approach the female, uh, convince her that he's not lunch, and then he's got to reach underneath her with his palps, where he can t has the sperm stored, and mate with her. And maybe he'll get away if he's lucky. Take the 1,000 odd species we know of today, times it by three, and we might be close to the actual number of species that live in Aotearoa. The spiders that we know of today are only a fraction of what we could discover tomorrow.